before my parents moved to the Brongahafu region. Indeed, I live and work in the United Kingdom. But it is important to state that I have more presence in Navrongo Central than the, uh, uh, the candidate who lives in Accra. I, anytime I come to Navrongo, I spend more time in Navrongo than the candidates. I can tell you that I am more effective in Navrongo, and I will be very happy if your crew can play on this uh, on your on the on the cameras what I have done in Navrongo. Not just physical presence, but what I have done to make sure that the lives of the people of Navrongo improves. I have done so much than even their own government have done for the people of Navrongo. I will beg of you to allow me them to play something for me on TV, if you don't mind. It is about some water projects. We, we, we will. But you, we will play. But That's you, right. You can go ahead and speak. Good. Thank you. They say that they say they don't see you, that this is the first time they are seeing you in this constituency. You see, it is typical of the MPP that any time they are losing, they hang on to a thin thread. I can tell you, like I said earlier on, that I am ever present than their candidate. I am always in Navrongo Central. I came here and won the parliamentary primaries because the people of Navrongo Central know that I am somebody who will be available to work for them. Indeed, if they did not like me, I did not come to fight to get it. It is the work I've done and the fact that I have confidence in my leadership to lead the constituents. that's why they voted for me. He knows very well as a candidate that I have more positive energy out there towards me than he has. And so that is just something that they put out there as propaganda because they have nothing more to say apart from saying that I'm not here. It's a global village. And yes, indeed, we are all free to work where we are. He does not live in Navrongo Central. He comes to Navrongo Central as and when he thinks he needs to be around. Ask him if he lives here. I know him from the Bronga Hafo, where he used to be the manager for Ghana Telecom. When he was in uh, uh, Bronga Hafo region, I was there with him. And so he does not live here. It, is, it will be unfair or even wrong for them to say that I do not live here when their own candidate is never here present. All right.